Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. This episode is called Stunning But Unconfirmed Rumors. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe, like, follow, and comment on the show. Also, I'd like to tell you about a, a service called HollywoodIsCalling.com. Uh, it's a great service that allows you to purchase live calls with more than 100 celebrities. You can talk to movie stars, TV stars, athletes, VIPs, all sorts of uh, great individuals. Um, you can purchase a live 15-second call for $19.95 and a live 30-second call for $29.95. <clears throat> it's a great gift for somebody else, or if you just want to talk to a star, feel free. Uh, they can also leave messages for you on your voicemail so that you can play them back for other people. So give it a try. HollywoodIsCalling.com Now, let's get started. Because the John Ark Show disseminates so much information, we also receive a lot of information. Every once in a while, we'll hear a rumor that is unbelievably stunning, but that we cannot confirm. If we can't confirm it, then we can't claim it's true. But some of these rumors are so incredible and unbelievable and highly entertaining uh, that we've decided to do a series of episodes about them. Remember, these are merely rumors that we can't confirm or substantiate, so don't contact us asking for more information because we don't have it. For legal reasons, we're going to say that everything you're about to hear is fiction, but we'll let you decide uh, for yourself as to whether or not you believe it. The first rumor we keep hearing about is that they've already developed a cancer cure and that they're now vetting it to make sure it's the real thing. This rumor has been around for a while, but the reason it resonates with so much believability now is because medical technology has made so many significant technological advances lately that it makes this rumor seem more believable than ever. Another related rumor that we keep hearing is that a well-known politician is going to announce this cure so as to help save the lives of millions of cancer patients and to strengthen his own political position. Now, the next rumor involves UFOs um, and UFO technology. Uh, the latest version of this rumor says that the reason uh, a powerful nation has begun to behave so aggressively lately is because they have captured some UFO technology that crash landed in their country and that they figured out uh, how to reverse engineer some of. Not all of it. They can't figure out most of it, in fact but some of they have been able to reverse engineer and understand the functionality of. Um, what they have been able to reverse engineer now makes them feel so powerful uh, that they've decided to start bullying some of the nations in their region. Uh, their problem is that they know that another superpower has been able to reverse engineer a lot more of the UFO technology that's crash landed in their country over the decades. Now, that technology is extremely powerful because it makes time travel possible. Uh, and, uh, and, and the other nation knows that it can be employed to erase them from the, uh, the face of the earth if they, uh, if they decide to employ it. The other problem that nation number one has that prevents them from getting too aggressive with other nations in their region is that nation number two was able to reverse engineer some UFO technology that makes it possible to win wars just by traveling back in time and by preventing the birth of some uh, of some leaders, some dignitaries, and some VIPs. Now, this next rumor is unbelievable, um, and it involves the third Antichrist. We keep hearing that a certain European nation state has uh, has a tremendous secret hidden away in a secret location that has a lot of other countries very nervous. Apparently, this nation has located and apprehended the third Antichrist. The rumor is that they're keeping this child locked up to prevent it from escaping and fulfilling its evil prophecies and fate. While imprisoned, this child is rumored to have already demonstrated very violent telekinetic powers as well as the ability to read minds, read the minds of other people at a great distance. We're hearing that uh, on one occasion, this young Antichrist was able to telepathically 
resurrect a dozen corpses from a cemetery a few miles away. It then somehow was able to get those reanimated corpses to attack the secret facility the Antichrist was hidden in. Now, the military was supposedly brought in and they were able to stop this zombie attack with exotic weapons. But because of this child's ability to manipulate the dead, uh, the child has been sedated for, for quite a while now because it has everybody, everybody worried. So the obvious question becomes, why don't they just kill this Antichrist to prevent any further problems? Well, this is where it gets really interesting. Apparently, the reason it's allowed to keep living is because they're trying to figure out how it brought those corpses back to life and how it was able to control them so they can replicate and militarize that ability and use it for their own purposes. Apparently, they think that uh, controlling a massive army of the undead may be the most powerful new military capability on Earth, even more powerful than nuclear weapons, and so they are desperately trying to study this ability and figure out how their government can use it and militarize it. Now, another really interesting rumor we've heard about is that a certain company has developed a high-speed water filtration technology that can convert salty ocean water into super clean drinking water with very little cost and very little energy required to do so. The reason that the nation refuses to divulge or publicize its existence or to bring that, uh, that technology to market so that the entire world could benefit is because water is more precious than oil and lots of organizations around the world make a fortune by selling it. They're concerned that releasing this technology would, would shift the balance of power and the uh, tremendous wealth that is derived from making water and making it available, and that this would cost them a fortune. Now, this next rumor involves bulletproof shirts. I know that sounds a little silly, but, um, but we keep hearing that the development of this, about the development of this new high-tech cloth that is very light, very inexpensive, and completely bulletproof and fireproof. They claim it can stop a 50 caliber bullet and resist any damage from a fire and a flamethrower. The interesting thing about this is that normally when you're hit by a 50 caliber bullet, it doesn't just kill you, it, it slices you in half and sends your body parts flying. But apparently what this sure does is that it becomes stiff on impact. When there's a high speed impact, it turns into this super hard, stiff, stiff uh, material that completely stops the, uh, the bullet's force and prevents it from being transmitted further to the body it impacts. Very interesting. Um, they say that it can be produced as inexpensively as, as a normal shirt and be made available to anybody who wants to feel safe. You know, whether they live in a violent neighborhood or they just work in law enforcement and they get shot at occasionally, uh, a shirt or a material like this could save many lives. But here's where things get really interesting. So the question becomes, why isn't it being brought to market and mass produced for everyone? We hear that the reasons it's not being released is really complicated. First, the military industrial complex doesn't want it released because it would make war that much more difficult. If your bullets can't kill your enemies, then that is a real problem. The next problem is that if criminals were to obtain this material and wear it during the commission of crimes, it would make it almost impossible to stop them with, the, with normal police firearms. The next problem is that if you allow the public to wear this kind of clothing, then that would make it very difficult to control them politically because people who, who feel invincible aren't going to listen to a government authority if they feel the government can't hurt them or control them anymore. They feel that a mob of rioters or protesters wearing this, ser this sort of bulletproof clothing could literally control a, a, could destroy a city if they wanted to, and the only way a police or the military could stop them would be to drop, drop bombs on them. It's very interesting and it's a very complicated uh, uh, rumor. So the next thing we're hearing about is uh, that a certain overseas country has developed 
an unbelievable new flashlight that allows you to uh, see back in time. Apparently, if you go outside at night and shine this flashlight on a specific area, that flashlight can illuminate it in a way that shows you that same area as it appeared a day ago, a week ago, or years ago, back in time. They claim this is UFO technology and that the flashlight is somehow tunable so that you can adjust it to go back to a specific time of your choosing. So why is this a big deal? Well, it's a big deal for a lot of reasons. First of all, you can go to a former crime scene at night and light it up with a flashlight and see actually who committed the crime and where they went to afterwards. Now, that is stunning because you could literally go back to historic locations like, da like Daly Plaza where President Kennedy was shot and light up the entire area with this tunable flashlight and watch the entire event play out before your eyes to see what really happened. Apparently, this time-traveling flashlight is such a big deal that many attempts have been made to steal it. Now, here's another really interesting aspect of this story. They claim that the country that owns it has taken it back to the birthplace of Jesus and the location he was reported to have a born in and died in uh, was illuminated and viewed. Uh, and that um, when the video they took of, of what they saw was uh, was played for politicians and military leaders. Uh, the people who saw that video knelt down and began to cry. They lowered their heads, they knelt down and began to cry uh, at what they had seen. Now, after seeing whatever it was they saw, those politicians then ordered the flashlight moved to a super high security facility, and that is where it is supposedly being held today. Now, this next rumor uh, we want to tell you about is incredible. This rumor claims that a few years ago, a couple of nations in the Middle East started a war with each other uh, that was escalating toward a nuclear exchange uh, that would eventually engulf the entire world. They say that uh, one nation launched a rocket with a nuclear warhead towards the other nation and that that second nation activated a time-traveling device that allowed them to go back and destroy the rocket before it was launched. They say that when the first nation attempted to launch a second nuclear weapon, then the other nation responded in the same way. They, they disappeared that second rocket, and then they sent a very interesting message to the president of the nation that fired the rocket. They told him that if they didn't stop immediately, if they didn't uh, stop, uh, stop the attack, stop launching more uh, nuclear weapons, they told this president that they would send the other president his deceased mother. Now, when the president told them uh, that he was crazy, his mother had died years ago, and that he didn't believe anything these lunatics were telling him, and that he felt that what they just said was further, um, was further confirmation that he needs to destroy them and their country for even making such a threat. Um, uh, the other nation told him to wait for 12 hours. Now, the rumor is that seven hours later that a, uh, a, a woman was delivered uh, to, the, uh, to the president of the attacking nation, and this woman was alive, and uh, she didn't know how she got there, but it was indeed the deceased mother of the attacking president. And, uh, and that's all that we've heard, but, uh, but it is a, a spellbinding rumor. If, it's, you know, if there's anything to it at all, it is spellbinding. Now, another rumor we keep hearing a lot about is a, a powder called the devil's breath. You know, it can be blown into someone's face and it causes their brain to lose the ability to say no to or object to anything. So what criminals are doing is they're walking up to complete strangers overseas and they will blow this powder into their face and then ask them to go to the bank and withdraw all their money and give it to them. And what happens? The victim calmly and politely walks into the bank, withdraws their money, and then gives it uh, to the criminal without any objection whatsoever. The criminal then asks them to, to lead them back to their apartment where they ask the victim 
to give them all their belongings. And, um, and the victim does it gladly and with a smile on their face. And, and, and the door people of some of these apartments, when later uh, in, uh, interrogated by the police, they corroborate what they're being told. They say that uh, the victim was accompanied by a second person into the apartment. They appeared to be friendly. They got along. And that, you know, an hour or two later, the other person and the victim were carrying stuff out of the victim's apartment and uh, into the car of the person that accompanied them. Now, the rumor is that this powder is now being used on bank officials and stock traders to get them to surrender large quantities of money to, um, to criminals. So, as I said earlier, we can't prove any of these stories or rumors, uh, so we're categorizing all of them as complete and utter fiction. So, so please don't contact us asking us for more information because there is none. As far as we're concerned, this is all fiction, but we will let you be the final judge and let you draw your own conclusions. One more thing I want to tell you. We're going to do these unconferred rumors episodes from time to time because if you think today's episode was interesting, you won't believe some of the stuff we're going to tell you in the future. With that, I want to thank you for watching and we will talk to you soon.